Hello, problem solvers. Uh, here are two functional equations problems that you can find a quick solution. So please try. Uh, yeah. So um, let's look at the top one. So we have find all functions that uh, ff f of f of x plus y equals f of x plus y okay um so first of all when whenever you are solving a functional equation problems usually uh, you try plugging in zero in this case so if we set y equals zero we get a very good relationship okay what, what do we get we get f of f of x okay, y is zero equals f of x why is this good well very very often whenever you are solving a functional equation problem you want to make use of this composition f of f okay and this tells us that we can actually take away one f if there are two f's. Okay, so uh, there is a similar concept in mathematics that is called um, idempotent, but uh, that is uh, not related to this problem really. So the good thing is that when it, so this set this is true for any x for any x. So if we if you look at the original uh, relationship on the left hand side we have f of f of x plus y but we just know that f of f of anything is just f of anything so that means if we take this one I just uh, swap it uh, this tells us that this is f of f of something it's just that something so obviously we can cancel the y and we are left with f of x equals x for all x for all x for all real numbers x okay so if we if we have shown that if f satisfy this f must satisfy this Okay, so you can quickly check that indeed this this function f x equals x uh, uh, satisfy this. Okay, so that is our so you you can check check okay f x equals x does indeed satisfy this. Satisfy. Let's say this is star. So f x equals x is the only is our only solution. It's the only solution for this problem. Okay. As I promised you, this is quite quick. Okay. Second. Uh, so whenever, so whenever you solve a Functional regression problem. Try to sub substitute zero, and then try to make use of f of f. Okay, if you get a get an expression that says f of f of something equals something simpler, that is a good direction. Okay, so that is the comment for this. So let's look at the second one. Okay, we want to prove that if f satisfies this. Then f is an odd function. So uh, if you don't know already, odd means f of negative x is negative f x. Okay. So let's try to solve this problem. Um, one of the properties of odd functions is that f zero must be zero. 
Okay, it must pass through the origin. As you, if you plug in zero here, okay, you see it gives you f zero equals zero. Okay, so we that is one of the things we need to prove. We need to show that f zero is zero. But if that is true, if we can prove that, then this question is very simple. Just plug in x equals zero. Okay, if x set x equals zero. This is f0, which is 0. So we have f negative y is equal to negative fy. That's what we want to prove. Okay. So where f, once we know f0 is 0, we have finished this problem. Okay. So our goal is to prove f0 equals 0. And naturally, we want to plug in x equals 0 or y equals 0. Right. So um, let me begin by setting y equals zero. Okay, what do we get? We get f of f of x is x minus f zero. Okay, just as I commented above, whenever you see this expression f of f of x equals something simpler, make use of it. Okay, so in particular, if we set x equals zero here, okay, in particular, when x equals zero, we have this relationship about f zero, right? Remember, we are trying to prove f zero equals zero, so naturally, we want to have something about f zero. Okay, what do we do next? So, remember this is true for all x. Okay, this is let let me let's give it a name. Okay, star. It's true for all x. So let's try to make use of it here. Okay. This says f of f of whatever is whatever minus f zero. Let's take this relationship. Apply f. Okay, again, this is another usual trick whenever you are solving for a functional equation problem. So here I have f of f of x. That's my x in this case. I'm letting x equals f0. Then by this relationship, this is equal to f of 0 minus f of 0, which is of course 0. Right? I just apply it here. Okay, that's my x. Okay, x minus f zero. Okay, so that means I have f of negative f zero is zero. Right, this is zero. Okay, and now you can guess. We can apply again. This time. Okay, I apply f to both sides again, and now, in this time, this is my x. Okay, f of f of x. So this is equal to x minus f zero. Okay, so all together. So so let me, let me write nicer. So this means two negative 2 of f0 is f0 of course that tells us f of 0 okay so once we have this then just plug in x equals 0 here so set x equals 0 here we get f of f of 0 minus i is 0 minus fy which gives us f of negative y which is true for all y this proves that f is an odd function okay so um, whenever 
So the key lesson in these two problems is that first of all, try plugging in zero to simplify things. Second, make use of f of f of something equals something simpler. Okay, and you can apply it again and again. So let's end it with a difficulty score. Uh, I think this is around two or three out of nine. Let's say two out of nine. And the character is Moegi. Thank you for watching.